Hello Toots. So this is the first illustration video in our programming series. In this video, we are going to learn how to run a basic program in a Ubuntu system. So I'll be using gedit as an editor and gcc as compiler. Both of them are available for Windows 2 and on all other Linux system as well. So first, this is my shell or command prompt. So here I will create a new C file to write our program. Okay. So I will be using gedit compiler, gedit editor, sorry. And let's say we give the name as test.c. Okay. You can use any other editor like Emacs or Sublime Text or even VIM. So now you hit enter. So it will open our editor and here we can write our code. Okay. So let's write a basic hello world short of program. So what are these lines means I have already explained in the main video of this the first program topic. Here I will write return one and a simple print statement. So now as I have completed writing the program, I will save it and close the window. So let's see where I have saved the file. Uh, it will be saved in my home folder, right? So here it is my home folder. So here it is the file. Okay. So now I need to compile the file, right? So I will use GCC as my compiler. So I will write GCC space the file name with the C extension. So it is mandatory to give .c as extension otherwise your file will not be compiled. So as it is not giving any error message or any short of messages it, it means that it has compiled successfully. So let's introduce some error in our program so that we can understand how the error comes in GCC compiler when you compile your file using GCC. So let's say I delete this semicolon okay save it close it then compile it see so it has said the program the file name then in which function then this one is the line number this six is the line number and this two is the column number okay so here it has said specifically that expected semicolon before return so before the return one statement, we need to give semicolon after the printf statement, right? So now go to the file again, give the semicolon, save it, close it, compile it again. So it has compiled successfully. Now to execute your program, you need to write dot slash a dot out. So what is a dot out? A dot out is the executable code your compiler has generated for your test.c program. By default, if you don't give any output file name, you don't specify any output file name, then it will create a dot out file. So it says hello to welcome to the tech to world. And just after that it gives the command because gives the command prompt because uh, you have not used any backslash n sign, right? So let's give a backslash n just after this, close, compile again and run it again. So now it has come as it was required, right? Okay. So if you want to save, so each time you compile a new program, the executable code will be saved into a dot out file, right? So if you want to save the executable code in some other file, so you need to give specify the output file name so you specify the output file name as minus o space then your output file name let's say it's test dot out okay now if you compile it there will be 
see in your home folder you can see there was a a dot out file previously and now there is a test dot out file right so now you can run your test dot out file as dot slash test dot out so it gives the same output okay so i think uh, the procedure to compile and execute your program using gcc is clear to you if you have any doubt you can ask in our doubt section thank you for watching